Welcome to Surgeon Syndicate. If you're paying attention, you know that you only make money when you work. It might be great money, but it's dependent on you. The information on this podcast will help you solve that. We interview experts and provide analysis into financial freedom through commercial real estate. Why? To help physicians like you thrive. Let's dive in. Hello and welcome to the show. This is Dr. Michael McManus here on The Surgeon Syndicate. Thank you for joining us. As always, our show today is sponsored by Fortress Capital. Fortress Capital is a private equity company that I founded to help physicians invest in commercial real estate and build financial freedom. Today's show, we're going to talk about how to decide where we invest and what types of real estate to invest in. I was preparing for today's show and I was going to talk about something else. And, you know, you get one of those notifications. And so now I'm looking through my computer like we do. And I found a LinkedIn post from my friend Dan Trong at Proton Capital. And it was so good. I just wanted to share this And we'll get back to the other stuff later. But Don posted today about a world full of endless possibilities and all the different things that we have that we can put our money into. How do we decide where to put it? And when we get into that, we have a couple different options. He was talking today about investing through knowledge and expertise And with the idea is you want to start learning. And once you start learning, find something that really interests you. And that way you can dig into it. And it's interesting. It's not a boredom in it. And it's stuff you can do. And as you immerse yourself in it, it becomes more of a craft. And you can embrace the challenges and the victories and become a student and a director of your own path. For me, that came as I started into real estate and started in small multifamily with purchasing a fourplex. And it was interesting. It was fun. It was also sometimes not fun dealing with tenants. But I really found a lot more interest in non-residential commercial when we started looking at office space and retail space, warehouses, land entitlement, because there was a lot more creativity there. And for me, that allowed me to embrace being a creative problem solver. And this is one of the things that really fulfills me, that I have a lot of fun doing. Uh, We're solving problems of what to do with tenants was a little less exciting. And I, I've been fortunate with the tenants, with residential tenants I've had that have had some great tenants and haven't had to deal with a lot of problems. But I'll say in finding them, got to interact with some people that weren't a lot of fun to interact with. But when you get into the commercial world, there are so many more possibilities about what can potentially be done with a property, who to market it to, who can be put in it, what you can do with it. And that part I found fun and challenging. And as I dug into it, it wasn't work anymore, like figuring out how to find the right tenants for a residential property. It was enjoyable. And out of that, I started finding more than just enjoyment, but fulfillment and meeting people who I enjoyed talking to about it. And that just opened up a world of opportunities. And so with, as we go down the same road, then instead of trying to figure out a bunch of things, you have a narrower focus that you can be really good at and really commit to. We're learning to do something that becomes more fun. And when your investing becomes fun and can become a passion, we're going to be a lot better at it and we're going to find more reward and success in it. So on the other side, that's kind of the the how is the who approach. And this goes back to the who, not how from written by Benjamin Hardy. And if you're not really passionate about it and you say, you know what, I'm more concerned about that I put my money in a place that it grows for me. And I don't really care what that asset class is. I just need to know it's well run. Comes more down to the who. 
And that's finding people who you trust, who you feel understand what your goals are, what your objectives are, and where do you find those people? If you're listening to this podcast today, that's one of the ways. There are a lot of people out there producing educational material that through that educational material, you get to know them a little bit better. You can go to conferences where you get to meet them in person and talk to them. If you're in a certain part of the country, man, jump in the car, drive and go see them. I know people who fly to meet with the people they invest with. So you get to know those people better. What I like about conferences is you also get to see the people you invest with interacting with other people and you get to know them a little bit better and kind of see them out in the world and interacting. And that really helps me feel more comfortable with who they are. And then you also get to usually meet some people who have known them longer, hear stories about them. I hear them and their friends talk about their successes and failures. And and for me, that was much more important is getting to know these people. Now, when you put these two things together, where you start learning about an asset class and then meeting people who are involved, those people who are involved, uh, anytime you interact with them and ask them questions, you learn more. And then you start to find also the people that you can relate to and you can trust and that you also enjoy. If you can find real estate syndicators, operators that you enjoy spending time around, enjoy talking to, and you feel like you understand them and understand that they understand you and your goals and motives and they care about you as an investor, those become some really special relationships that help move everybody's lives forward and help us all uh, gain some financial freedom. So this is a short show, but I just found this LinkedIn post just inspired me to record this show for you guys. If you'd like to see more great information from Ton, he did an earlier podcast on the show. You can find, but you can also look him up on LinkedIn and that's Ton Trong. And thank you for listening in today. And again, please stop and give us a review. Let us know what you think of the show. We're getting into here a a few weeks into the show. We've had some great responses from people out there, but the feedback is what helps us know what people like and what they don't like so we can craft the show to meet your needs. So thanks for being here and we'll see you soon. This has been an episode of Surgeon Syndicate. If you got value from this episode, you know other surgeons are hungry to become job optional and you can help them by sharing this content today. Schedule a call and we can make a plan. Looking forward to having you with me on the next episode.